Hey everybody, Adam from Atlas Gunworks. We're going to show you how to fix a mushy um, thumb safety. So if you've got a thumb safety and it works, um, so by works I mean you flip it up and you pull the trigger and the gun won't fire and then you flip it down and it will fire and when you flip it down the hammer doesn't move. Um, so up, no fire, flip down, hammer stays where it's supposed to be and you can pull the trigger and move it. But it, let's say it clicks when it goes down um, or it even doesn't do that or when you go up a lot of times when you go up they're a little bit mushy well that just means they're a little too tight so I'm going to show you how this thing works here so the thumb safety sits in the gun like this when you flip it up it's got a little bar here I'm going to show you in a second that blocks the sear so that the sear can't move and then when you move it down it comes off and the sear it's clearance and the sear can move so what you want to make sure of is if you don't, if you go too far with these, if you file the part I'm about to show you down too far, what will happen is you'll, it'll be blocked, the sear will move a little bit, not that much, but just a little bit, and then when you put it down, it's, it'll continue moving, it'll, it'll be off um, its set point. So basically, you know, it moves off of the clearance of the hooks here, but it's like pinned straight on the edge or just off and it's pinching everything. And then when you move this down, it goes bang, or the hammer falls if it's not loaded. But that's bad. We don't want that. So whenever you're fitting one of these, all you really have to do, let's try some magnification here. So this is a pretty good look at it. So, if you look at this, there's this little U-shaped cut right here. And then the bottom of this, when I turn it, you'll see that there's a flat face here. So when the safety's down at this little U-shaped cut is the clearance spot so that the sear can move. And when you flip it up, this flat part's the part that catches the sear. It's super important that when you fit these or adjust them that you only work on this little flat part right here and that you keep the angle that's already there. So what you don't want is it right is you you know if you go in here and change that angle that might give the sear some some room to move. So these come usually with a perfect angle on them and you want to for the most part you want to keep that angle. So I know that's a little bit hard to see, but a little bit limited on how we can do this. So everybody see that blue spot? And then we got a little U-shaped. It's just this flat part that we're going to work on. This little flat part right here. So it doesn't take much um, to, to do this. So let's say that the sear, let's say you were fitting one from zero and it didn't even fit in here. You're just going to take, you can just take a cheap, you know, you could do this on the road. I've done this in hotel rooms. Um, you can take a cheap file from Home Depot or Lowe's or wherever. And you want to just get a good look at that angle right there and then just file until it fits in the gun. Once it fits in the gun, and again, use a blue marker. Blue works better than black. So if you got if you got one, and file that away, and make sure you're you're getting a nice even file on there, and you're not doing the edges. Okay, so all my markers gone. You don't need any kind of polish, or you don't want to do, you might you don't want any burrs here. But other than that, that's all we need. That face doesn't have to be super smooth. So then you can get it in the gun. Once it gets in the gun. You just keep working that up and up and down. You just keep taking a little more, a little more, a little more. And then what will happen is you'll eventually get it so it moves. This gun's already done, but you'll get it so it moves, right? So then it goes like this. It's just no click. So take a little more off, a little more off. Make sure you're keeping that angle. And then eventually... 
um, you'll get it, it'll go click on and click off, click on and click off. And then once you get that, you gotta test it. So pull the trigger, I don't feel the sear moving, but that's not the absolute test. So the sear, pull the trigger a whole bunch real hard, then finger away from the trigger. Oh, and this one did it. I, this one was fit perfect before, and now I took too much off. So pull, pull, pull. Now these safeties are no good. Well, no good for this gun. So I'm going to have to fit new safeties on this gun. Now, that was two. What you saw is all I took off. Those three little stripes, is that's it. So this is a do two passes with the file, put it back in the gun, and do it five, 50 times if you have to. But if you go too far, that's bad. You don't want that. Um, that's really the big test. So boom, boom, boom. And that's a fail. So looks like I'm getting new safeties in my in my tester gun because um, you can't add material back to that spot. Um, hope that was helpful. Um, go super slow, one or two passes. Put it back in, one or two passes. You might need to do one or two more passes if, when you go to put it in, it doesn't even clear the sear to begin with. Um, if it doesn't even fit in here, then um, you got a little more work to do. Every every sear is going to meet every um, safety difference. So if you change the sear in the gun, you got to do a little work there. If you change the safety in the gun, you're going to have to probably do a little more work. But they're all different. And be careful. Some of the sears, you could have a working safety, put a new sear in the gun, and then the sear doesn't, you know, clearances the safe or the safety right from the get go, and then that combination is not going to work. You either got to do a different sear or a different thumb safety. Uh, hope that was helpful. Catch you soon.